I still am who I am. My hair has not changed me. The cancer is a part of me. I'm not a part of it. And I refuse to let it bring me down or change me. Farrah Smith has learned a lot about herself since July. That's when the Gainesville newlywed was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 25. Now, instead of slowing her down, though, the experience has made Smith more determined than ever to live her life to the fullest. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with her story. And Sine and Tom, you know, Farrah, as you said, is really young, but she's had to grow up quickly over the last few months, facing a disease that many women don't experience until they're decades older than she is. Hey, Farrah. You ready? Farrah Smith has grown used to the early mornings here at the Long Street Clinic at Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Gainesville. It's chemotherapy day, and her older sister Candace and mom Janelle are here with her as always. Cancer doesn't just affect me. It has affected my entire family. All right, put your arm over your head. But this is not where Farrah Smith expected to be at 25 and newly married. She's the youngest breast cancer patient that I have right now. We do see patients in their 20s and 30s that can get breast cancer. It's rare. I just remember thinking it should be me. I'm older, you know, the breast cancer. It was unreal to think that somebody that was 25 years old would have breast cancer. Vera says she first felt the lump in her breast two years ago at 23. It was almost literally like it came up overnight. She'd been pregnant, so she told herself it was a clogged milk duct. I was like had 100% positivity that it would not have been cancer. About four centimeters. But this summer, Farrah Smith learned it was cancer, her two positive breast cancer. It's really indescribable how it felt to hear you have cancer. And as she began treatment, Farrah learned she has Lee Fraumeni syndrome, a rare gene mutation that raises her risk of developing several other cancers. And it's usually passed down through families. We're in the process of testing her family members. Tests show that Farrah's chemo is working. The mass is shrinking, but it's hard on her physically. After the last round, she couldn't eat for six days. And almost as difficult was watching her long hair fall out. I cried. I did cry. I definitely cried. Still, Farrah says having cancer at 25 has taught her a lot about herself. I still am who I am. My hair has not changed me. The cancer is a part of me. I'm not a part of it. And I refuse to let it bring me down or change me. I've watched her. She's been so brave and so just positive. I mean, she's my hero. And in the end, Farrah Smith says she feels lucky. In two years, her cancer has not spread beyond her nearby lymph nodes. And her doctor says her prognosis is excellent. So she's hoping that sharing her story will inspire other people to be advocates for their own health. You know yourself better than anybody else. Do not hesitate to get yourself checked out for any reason. And that's good advice. And when her chemotherapy is completed, Farrah will have a double mastectomy, but she will not have radiation like many other breast cancer patients do because her genetic condition makes that too risky. And she will have to be carefully screened for cancers down the road. And Tom and Sine, I love how she says, you know, I have cancer, but mm -hmm. cancer doesn't have me. Mm -hmm. Such an empowering, powerful mindset. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. positive attitude, yeah. which isn't easy. Beth, thanks.